A well-known country clubhouse in Brownsville was completely destroyed. Fire crews fought a fire at the Valley International Clubhouse on Saturday for more than 12 hours. As our Channel 5's Daisy Martinez found out, it was the roof which fueled the flames. Now only the memories remain. If you live in Brownsville or have lived in Brownsville for any amount of time, you've probably celebrated an event there. The Valley International Country Club Clubhouse, a popular venue for many events over the years, went up in flames Saturday shortly before 10 a.m. Assistant Fire Chief Cesar Pedraza tells us it took fire crews 12 hours to put out the blaze. An unlikely source fueled the fire as firefighters struggled to put it out. It had what we called a built-up roof, which means uh, older roofs were replaced with newer roofs without removing the old roofing material. Uh, that just adds to the fire load, which adds to the heat, which adds to the smoke, and, and makes it that much more difficult to reach the seat of the fire and extinguish. We went to professional roofer Frank Buente Jr. to find out why a roof would have so many layers. He says it's all about cost. A lot of times people think, well, it's cheaper, they'll cut corners, and so it's less, uh, less expensive because of the labor issue. But in the end, it's really not that much more. And I tell customers, if you don't do it right now, you're going to end up paying twice as much. He says it was a common practice not long ago. He recommends when replacing a roof to completely take off the old material down to the decking. It helps eliminate several risk factors. One of the reasons is the weight issue. You know, a lot of people will say, well, it's not that much, but you know, if you get rain or any kind of debris up on the roof, it's gonna add more weight, so that could cause a danger. VICC manager Kevin Sargent tells us now that the venue is gone, jobs will have to be cut. The golf course, he adds, remains open. Firefighters say the fire started in the kitchen area, but the cause of the fire is still under investigation. In Brownsville, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6. And manager Kevin Sargent tells us his staff is working to contact people that have reserved a venue at BICC. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. People that reserved a date and put down a deposit will get a refund or help find another venue. Sargent says the original two-story clubhouse built in 1910 ironically also burned down. This building was about six thousand square feet and was built around the 1970s. Sargent says they hope to rebuild the clubhouse.